Hi, so I want to introduce you to my friend. No, actually uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to introduce you to a Japanese cult that is actually fairly popular in Japan. Uh, the master, as uh, he's been called by some people, now I'm not super into it because I don't know too much about it as I've not been in the cult. Uh, let's see, what's his name? Uh, yeah, it's Okawa Ryuho. Alright, so the name of the cult is Happy Science or uh, Kofuku no Kagaku. Uh, they have a little political party here in Japan. Uh, I think it's in the 20s, 20%, something like that. Kofuku Jitsugen To. Alright, uh, the Happiness Realization Party. Alright, uh, this guy thinks he is the embodiment of El Cantare, which is the hidden name of God. Uh, Elohim, actually. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later because, well, Elohim is not God. It's gods. Plural. Alright, anyway. So, yeah, his name is Ogawa... Uh, Okawa Ryuho. Alright? And down here I have a list of people that he says he is reincarnated from. So, Tensei reincarnate. Or Tensei reincarnation, rather. Alright? So, he's been Ramu, which is uh, the king of the Lost Mu continent. Which I actually did not know what that was until just recently. Uh, Tos. I tried to find this one. I can't find anything outside of uh, his books. Uh, and I'm not buying those. Alright. The end. Aru Kuraudo. Uh, what do I have here? Uh, King of the Incas. Which king I don't know. And, uh, it's just kind of funny. Alright, and... Ofarius. Uh, I'm not quite sure who he's trying to say. Um, supposedly it's a Greek god, Ophelia, I think. And then I also have written in here Osiris, because, well, he seems to think they're the same person. Alright, he also says Hermes. Which, Hermes, I think, though the uh, Roman writing, or the, not the Roman, the uh, Katakana name for Hermes is a little bit different, but it's still pronounced Hermes. Alright, and then, uh, Gotama Shiddaruta, and uh, that's the Gautama Buddha, uh, one of the original Buddhas, uh, lived in India. Alright, those are people that he says that he was reincarnated from. And down here, uh, I don't remember how to read that. I forgot to write it down. Crap. Alright, well, he says that he channels Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Buddha, Shaka. Alright, so if he's a reincarnation of a Buddha, and he channels Buddha. Um, what? And then down here, Confucius. Alright, uh, the Chinese name, I don't know how to pronounce, but in Japanese it's pronounced Koshi. Koshi. Alright, so he is the person who runs a little cult in Japan called the Happy Science Cult, or Kofuku no Kagaku. Alright. Now, in Japan, these guys have their own uh, political party, and you can see their uh, posters plastered up all over some people's houses. And it's just really strange. I understand that they want to be happy. Everybody does. Uh, but, Kofuku no Kagaku, you're deifying a human being who thinks he's a god. 
and that's a little bit strange. All right, so this video is more pointed towards uh, Western audiences, as I'm doing most of it in Japanese, or in English, with uh, only the Japanese words. So it's kind of uh, silly, and uh, you know what? Uh, I am more than happy to talk to anyone who has any more information and I will put that new information in this video or in another video in the description. Uh, it just, or in this video's description or in another video. And so, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. This is just some crazy stuff. All right. So other things I want to do with this channel is I want to introduce people from other countries to some of the Japanese spiritual beliefs. And it's kind of funny because Japan is a very atheist culture with a lot of Buddhist and Shinto uh, ceremonies. Outside of those ceremonies, most people don't even think about uh, religion or God or anything. And, you know, that's perfect. That's the closest thing to atheism uh, that's the closest thing that atheism will ever have to a heaven. Nobody does anything about their religion except for Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons. Jehovah's Witnesses have their pamphlets outside of uh, stations, and uh, Mormons go door to door. Now, I actually have a trick for getting rid of uh, the... Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses that come by. Ehova no Shonin. Alright? So, anytime you see a Jehovah's Witness that comes to your door, uh, if you don't want to talk to them, just tell them that you've been disfellowshipped. I know I said dismembershipped once to a friend of mine. That's not quite the same thing. Alright, disfellowshipped. I used to be a Jehovah's Witness, by the way. Uh, and so, tell them you've been disfellowshipped. They will stop talking to you. In Japanese, the uh, term would be danzetsu sareta. Alright, danzetsu is to be forcefully removed. And sareta is just, it. I have been, by somebody else. So, uh, tell them that you've been disfellowshipped, and they'll stop talking to you. You don't have to be rude to them. You don't have to do anything mean or nasty. And it's just an easy way to get them off your back. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, so if you have any questions about any kind of religions in Japan, I'd be happy to answer your questions for you best I can. Uh, and I will get back to you and answer you later if I don't get a good an or have a good answer for you. Uh, I will find out. So anyway, please like, ine, comment. Subscribe, Todokeshite. And, uh, Hihan Tekini Kangaero. Alright, see you later. Bye.